Okay, so we're going to do an update video on my 2015 Nissan Xterra. Uh, as it stands right now, I'm a little under 10,000 miles. And I uh, just want to do some things that are good, things that are maybe not so good that they could have maybe did a little different. Uh, first of all, I'll we'll start with uh, good stuff. Uh, this rack on top here, I didn't think I'd ever use this. And I've actually used it quite a few times. Um, for hauling stuff and it comes with the crossbars already installed so you can like stack stuff right on top here which is nice. Uh, the wet box I've used to put stuff that's dirty in there. Uh, my daughter got sick in the car and uh, put that stuff in there so we didn't have to smell it and then get everything full. Uh, dirty boots and stuff. So that's nice. It keeps the mess outside the vehicle. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it's really easy to scratch this roof paint and what I'm looking at getting is uh, some sort of rubber molding with an adhesive on it that I could lay on top of these ribs so that you could stack stuff right on here and not worry about scratching the paint because this is a I mean the way I have the crossbar set up here it's a decent area where you could throw some uh, like plastic tubs or boxes and then strap them down so that part of it's really nice um, just that I wish it would have came with came with those rubber pieces to kind of protect that. Um, tailgate's good. Uh, the, the struts that lift it seem like they're they're at their capacity. They probably could have upped those a little bit. Um, and the reason I say that is because uh, there's a lot of areas here where you can get up, like this uh, molded step, the bumper, and if you've got a hitch on there. Um, the tire, that's how I usually get up to the top. But even with that, it, I use a step ladder when I tied stuff down just to have the height. It may be nice to have, they make an aftermarket ladder that you can, uh, that actually rests on this back part of the tailgate uh, just to get up there. Uh, that may be helpful, uh, but then you'd have to up the struts for the tailgate in order for it to work so that might be something I'll look into I don't know I think they're like 200 bucks I don't know we'll see um, the back here I got this cover on the other thing that's nice like I said my daughter got sick on the way home from school one day and uh, more, even with the cover I mean it soaked through uh, what's nice is this is uh, the seat you can pull out so, you know, you can pull this up, this comes up, and then you can actually just release the seat. You don't have to bolt anything. So I had this whole piece out, and I could just work on that piece. The uh, floor mat here, boy, that's really hard to see. The floor mat I just pulled out and just threw in the wash machine. And in the back of the seat here that had a little bit on, this seat actually has zippers so you could get behind the fabric to kind of scrub it. So that's nice. Um, Obviously, WeatherTech mats would help a little bit, but not with the seat, and then maybe a better seat cover. Um, everything over here seems like it's pretty good. The only thing that I'm that it's missing that I wish it had was the power mirror, like joystick here. Every car I've owned has had that. Um, I had a lot of Fords, so a lot of the Fords always have that there, the joystick. Nissan puts it here. And instead of it being a joystick, it's like this flat panel. That is really difficult to adjust because one, it's hard to see while you're driving. If you get somebody blasting you with their high beams and you want to like uh, point your mirror down, it's really hard to do. That's like almost impossible to find. So uh, that's that's kind of annoying. All the the other features are pretty good. Um, like the steering wheel controls, those are awesome because they're different sizes, like for the the volume control here and then to adjust the song selection, like that's good because like you don't even have to look down, you can just feel a small button does this, big is the volume, I don't use any of the Bluetooth stuff. Um, the other thing that's a little confusing on the wiper thing here is trying to get the rear washer, you have to push it, is it forward, you push it forward to get it and then pull it back to do the front. Back for the front it seems normal in most cars but pushing it forward that's I don't know to me it's cumbersome it might be just a learning curve because I don't use it as often. Radio is great, the controls for that awesome. The four wheel drive I got to use it yesterday a little bit in a snowbank. Uh, I had to park on the street that works great. Uh, 
cup holders are awesome that you can pull them out. I mean, you can get like one, one of those Nalgene 32 ounce bottles and sit right in here, which is nice with this out. And it's nice that these you can pull these out so you can put in bigger bottles or if you want to wash them or whatever. Um, oh, the other thing that is super annoying, I and if someone knows how to do this, please let me know. Boy, this video is getting long. Every time you put the car in drive when you first start it and you move, it's a certain mile per hour, I don't know if it's 15, it automatically locks the doors and you cannot open your door unless you physically unlock the door. Like I can pull and pull and pull and nothing will happen until I unlock. So every time, unless you shut the vehicle down and pull the key, you can turn it off and it's still locked. You have to pull the, pull the key and there's no way of turning that off. From what I've read in the owner's manual, you can't turn that feature off. That is an annoying feature. I don't exactly know why why that's on there. Uh, it's really frustrating. What I do like is the seatbelt reminder to let you know that your seatbelt's not on. Only chimes like once or twice, and then it's done chiming. I got some garbage in here. Uh, it only chimes once or twice. And then it's done. You can just keep driving if you don't have your seatbelt on or if you're just doing something where you're hooking up a trailer. Uh, other cars that Subaru we got, that thing just keeps dinging. It just drives you out of your gourd. So overall pretty good. Just a few minor things that I wish they would have did a little different. But uh, yeah, this thing looks like this is going to work out just fine.